Okay, so the first step is weight shifting by pushing with your toes so you have more capacity to move to your different directions. Once your weight shift to the back foot, then we'll do the shuffle step. After shuffle, let your back foot generate power to jump up and rotate your lower body to do the scissor kick step. In order to coordinate upper body to generate more power, let your hip need to be pushed and rotate forward. Make sure to hit the shuffle at its highest point, so don't deliberately wait for it to fall down. The swing motion will lead your upper body to a smooth scissor motion and get ready for the next shot. Let's talk about another step, China step. So for the China step, then you will do one shuffle and you don't need to rotate your lower body, you just jump up and hit the shuttles. And how to increase the power is you throw your elbow forward and generate power by snapping with your wrist. When you do these shots, you will focus more on the angle instead of power. Again, this step is highly recommend you do in your forehand set. Here you can see yellow lines for China step and forehand shots. Red line is for scissor kick and overhead shots. In my experience, the scissor kick is better to apply in your overhead side. However, if you have enough time, you also can apply in your forehand side. But for China step, it will be a little bit tricky because China step usually will be applied in the forehand side. It's because if you apply this step in your overhead side, then it will be a little bit tricky with your swing motion. It might affect your smash power. So, what is your flick serve return strategy? Comment below and let me know if it helps you. If you are new to watch this video, consider the subscribe button and turn on the bell. I will see you guys next video.